Now before, I mentioned that you could add something to the hiragana ka through ko to slightly change the pronunciation of it. Today, we're going to go over that before getting into the vocabulary for a through o and ka through ko. This thing that you can add to the ka through ko is called dakuten. The dakuten is sometimes called tenten or chonchon, depending on your sensei. I actually grew up calling it a chonchon, so I'll be using that from now on. But just know that the dakuten and the chonchon and the tenten, they're all the same thing. It is generally applied to the hiragana that starts with consonants. Just a little note, consonants are alphabets that are not vowels. So for example, the alphabet K, S, T, P are all consonants because they are not vowels. So again, it is generally applied to hiragana that start with consonants, but not every hiragana group or column uses the chonchon. The chonchon looks like quotation marks hovering above the top right corner of the hiragana. So now, let's see how this looks for hiragana ka through ko. Here is hiragana ka. When you write the chonchon, it will be on the top right corner like this. It's kind of like an equal sign at an angle. It should be straight and not curved. For hiragana ka, you already have one stroke on the top right, and that just comes with the original way to write hiragana ka. But when you add the chonchon, make sure that the chonchon is shorter than the original, the third stroke for hiragana ka. So it'll look like you have three chonchons, like chon 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 on top of the hiragana ka, but actually the original stroke that comes with ka should be longer than the other two, like so. Adding this chon chon will change the hiragana from being pronounced as ka to ga. When you add the chon chon to hiragana ka, ki, ku, ke, ko, it actually changes all of the k sounds to a g sound. Here's how the rest of the hiragana look when adding the chon chon. Hiragana ki becomes gi. Hiragana ku becomes gu. Hiragana ke becomes ge. And hiragana ko becomes go. Okay, so for these, um, in English, sometimes the G is pronounced kind of like a J. Like, for example, the word gerund. And uh, I can't think of anything else right now. But anyways, the G or the chonchon pronunciations for hiragana ka through ko will always have a hard G sound. So ka, ki, ku, ke, ko becomes ga gi gu ge go For some hiragana columns it's not as easy as changing one of the consonant letters to another like how the k turned into a g Some of the columns have a few that turn into a different consonant from each other but we'll go over that later So as a review adding the dakuten or chonchon to hiragana Ka, ki, ku, ke, ko turns it into ga, gi, gu, ge, go. In case you're wondering, the chon chon is usually not added to the hiragana group a through o. Sometimes you may see it in a manga, which is a Japanese comics, or Japanese light novels, but it's usually used to express a yelling or groaning sound like ah. Okay, that was really silly, but anyways, it will not be used for an actual Japanese word. And that concludes the explanation for what a dakuten is, also called tenten or chonchon.